thing we do is go directly to the apostrophes and other symbols cannot be admitted in this slot here. Here is how to do it in the value column. Click the small gray. Hello and welcome to this video on how to enter a categorical variable on SPSS. Before we start the process, I would like to ask you this question. Do you know what GIGO is? GIGO does not refer to the city indicated in the road sign that you see on the screen. Rather, it's an acronym that says garbage in, garbage out. And in computer science, this acronym means if we feed the computer wrong data, what we should expect is a wrong output. This is one way of saying that the machine, no matter how sophisticated it is, it cannot redress our mistakes. So we have to be very careful. One way of entering the correct data is to correctly specify our variables on the software. In today's video, we will show beginning researchers how to enter categorical variables on SPSS. What is a categorical variable? As the term implies, a categorical variable is a variable that represents categories by means of numbers. Here, numbers are used only for classificatory purposes, for categorization purposes, in other words. Let's take the famous gender variable as an example. For this variable, two categories are identified, male and female. The researcher, for example, who enters this variable on SPSS can choose to assign number one to male and number two to female, or vice versa. Assigning two to a male instead of one, or assigning one to female instead of two, will not make any difference whatsoever, because in a categorical variable, the numbers serve the purposes of classification only. They do not have a mathematical value, in other words. And now, with this background in mind, let's see how we can enter a categorical variable on SPSS. For illustrative purposes, we consider the gender variable. In the previous video, we made the point that the main page of SPSS, the one you can see on the screen, consists actually of two pages, one displaying a variable view and the other data view. So if we would like to enter our variable, the first thing we do is go directly to the variable view. And we go to one, which means that um, this is our first variable, variable one. We give it a name. In case of a variable like gender, it consists of a single word, so there is no problem. We just type gender and then uh, we continue. But there are other variables that cannot be written the way they are here because they contain characters that SPSS considers illegal. For example, uh, spaces, apostrophes, and other symbols cannot be admitted in this slot here as you can see so what is the solution the solution is either to transform the name of the variable into a single acronym for example or to clip individual words to make one block variable for example city of origin can be sit origin after we have successfully typed the name we need to proceed with other information about it <music> Next to the name of the variable appears a slot where we need to specify the type of the variable. Here we have options like string, numeric, date, etc. For a variable like gender, we select numeric. Even if it's a categorical variable, we opt for numeric because we have used numbers to isolate categories. The next piece of information we need to specify for a variable is width, and this refers to how many characters or numbers we would like to see displayed for this variable. Many researchers use the default value for this slot. After this, we need to specify the decimals. Decimals referring to how many digits we would like to see after the point. In social sciences, it's generally two digits after the decimal. Label is a slot in which we can write the full name of the variable, especially the variables that contain more than one word, like the example of students' city of origin. Here, we do not need to write any acronyms. We do not need any clip-in. We write the variable name as it is. For categorical data, we need to specify the labels and the numbers. For example, for the variable of gender, where we have male and female, we have to instruct the software that, for example, male corresponds to one and female corresponds to two, depending on our choice. Here is how to do it. In the value column, click the small gray box, type number one, and then the label male. Then 
you click on add, you repeat the operation for female by writing number two and then label female and then you click on add if the categorical variable has more than two levels for example city of origin where we have for instance uh, four cities then we do the same thing in the pop-up window we write number one and then in the label which there is one level of the city variable and then you click on add and then we repeat by writing number two for Rabat for example and then uh, number three and then Marrakesh for the label and then you click on add and so on and so forth and finally do not forget to specify the measure of the variable so we click on measure and select nominal nominal because we have uh, a categorical variable here where the categories do not involve any ranking this is unlike the uh, ordinal scale which we will cover in our next video after we have specified all these characteristics of our variable we can now switch to the uh, data view and when we do this we will find out that the variable names appear in the top row so you can see gender and city of origin and now we can enter the values for example number one means student one for example so we specify his or her gender by typing one or two and then we can do that for the second student second case then third then the fourth etc and then we move on to the second variable which is city of origin and uh, we type you know for example if the city of origin for student one is city uh, the city labeled as one in the variable view we type one for example Ujda or Marrakesh or whatever we do the same thing for the second student who comes from a different city so we type a different number depending on what we did on the uh, variable view page and so on and so forth we can check this you know if we go to the icon where you have one and a when you click on it the values will change from words into numbers so for gender we have an alternation between male and female which means that uh, the computer has internalized this association between the word male and number one thank you very much mm -hmm.